Sneed here from Valley Verde Animal Hospital. Here we have our 13 year old patient, male neutered patient. He actually presented because his hair will not continue to grow and it actually starts thinning out. When the owner gave a bath at home, she actually got clumps of hair into her hands that were just stuck there. And so she's constantly seeing the hair fall out. He's constantly hungry, ravenous appetite. You can actually see that he's exhibiting a scar already on the middle of his abdomen. This is a previous scar from a previous surgery that we did where we removed an adrenal tumor because he had hyperadrenal corticism, also known as Cushing's disease. This is where your body secretes too many steroids and gives you that feeling like you're always hungry, you always have to urinate, you're always thirsty. It's not a fun feeling for these guys and so it's very uncomfortable. It's definitely something that you want to get diagnosed at your veterinarian hospital as soon as possible. A lot of things that you can see with these guys is elevation in certain liver, va liver values. So it's always important to do blood work before anesthesia because you can see these signs before they become a problem. Now we'll be doing an ultrasound on this little man today because we have a suspicion that he has another adrenal tumor. So when we were doing the ultrasound we were able to find just beside the kidney a growth. You can see here that we're coming into the liver. This is our gallbladder. You can see it's got some sludge in there. It's definitely distended. We're going to zoom out here a little bit with the ultrasound. We're going to come back. You're getting a little shadowing of the stomach and some intestinal loops here, looping on over each other. And we're still just searching for the right kidney. Early here. There we go. So that's our beautiful kidney here. And if we go to the middle midline here, you see this opacity. This opacity is our adrenal gland. And it is a pretty good size shape here. I'm gonna see if I can get it to focus here. So that way we can get some measurements in here and see what size we're looking at and what options we have. If I can get a little bit more alcohol on that. You can see the actual caudal vena cava coming into view here, coming in and out of view. That's the long dark line that you see there. That's coming in and out of view because that adrenal gland loves sitting right next to it. And you get a beautiful view of it coming right on in, right here. It's okay, buddy. Hang on. Now, in ultrasound, you should not be able to see this adrenal gland very easy. You can see that you're starting to get a little bit of a view here of your adrenal gland. And this is actually the mass that's sitting inside the adrenal gland. I apologize, this one's not a good view here, but this definitely lets us know that this is a decent sized adrenal tumor that needs two options here. One, either medical management or the ideal option would be to remove this adrenal gland, thus actually removing the problem and actually giving the dog a quality of life. These are things you don't want to wait on. These are things that you definitely want to follow up on. Ultrasounds, blood work, routine blood work and medications may be things that are recommended. So these are all things that you want to definitely talk to your veterinarian about. If you have any questions about this disease process or any further information about ultrasounds or any questions like that, don't hesitate to give us a call and ask. Thank you. This is Dr. Jonathan Sneed, Valley Verde Animal Hospital.